Good morning. Good morning. Did you sleep good? Did you? Did you sleep good? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Maybe I should start telling you guys where you're sitting. So right now you're on top of my essential oil rack, but I'm gonna make myself breakfast. Just thought I'd say good morning before I do that. Um, I don't know if I'm even gonna post this vlog. I've had so many vlogs lately that I've filmed all day, but I literally did nothing all day and I get bored watching them and I don't want to post anything that even I'm bored watching. So. My sister did invite me to lunch with her and my grandma, but I let them know that I don't have a car. Um, my dad and my stepmom did go camping and they left my stepmom's car, which is stick, but David was uh, late this morning. He woke up late and all of his work stuff was in my car. And so he's just like, can I please just take your car? I really don't have time. And so I was like, yeah, go for it. What's another day without a car? So I can't drive my stepmom's car because I don't, I can't drive stick. So I have a car now, but I just can't drive it. Look at that. <laughs> um, but anyways, if they can pick me up, then I will be going to lunch with her, my sister, and my grandma. But I did want to say my younger sister, so not this sister, a different one. I have four. Don't worry if you get them confused. Um has a YouTube channel. I've kind of mentioned it on the vlog before, but I wanted to like really give a shout out. She just posted a vlog where she came down to Washington because she lives in Myrtle Creek and, you know, played with Simeon and we went to the Tulip Festival and all that. So if you're interested in what a middle schooler's life is like, then go subscribe to her channel. This is her channel name. It's Deja Marie, so if you just are interested in that kind of content, then go check her out. Sleep training diaries <laughs> number two I'm definitely getting a noise machine or like a white noise machine like it's it's happening I I have to because the creak of his door and the sirens going by like wake him up he's so good at sleeping in loud like in just constant loud so when we're in church if we're watching a show whatever he can sleep in the loudness but he just can't sleep if it's really quiet and then there's a sudden loud noise so there's that also i don't know if it was just a fluke if it's just this one time but i swaddled him in a blanket a very loose swaddle nothing crazy because i'm not very good at swaddling and he hasn't wanted to be swaddled in forever so i'm thinking that if he's already tired and I swaddle him, maybe that will help him not go like this when I'm setting him down into his crib when he's trying to fall asleep. So, he's asleep right now. This is what he looks like. So he's swaddled in his blanket. We have swaddle blankets, but they're not very warm. And that's another thing, he really likes to be warm when he sleeps. That's probably why he will only sleep on us. So what time is it? It's 11.45. I would say he's been sleeping for five minutes. So 11.40. You guys remember that for me. Let's see how long of a nap we can get. Do you sleep 50 minutes? 50? You are such a good boy. You are a good boy. That was a good nap. A good one. Side note, look at his cute outfit. These are both hand-me-downs from 
My friend Morgan, I believe, was this one. I love this pattern in this, like, mint color. And then I actually really like these. They have, like, I don't know. They're super duper soft and stretchy. And he just, he feels so soft today. Do you feel so soft? You give them kisses? I'm back! <laughs> I'm wearing makeup, guys. I curled my hair. Who is she? I don't know. I haven't seen her in a while, but I am here. Woo! It feels good to have a face again. <laughs> like a... I am totally okay with my no makeup face. It took me years and years and years to get there. And so... <laughs> I'm totally fine with my natural face. I just feel like this is the face of my soul. You know? Just... Yes. So... I, I feel good. You know? feel good. But... My sister's gonna pick me up, and we're gonna go to lunch with my grandma, which I already told you. And the house is a little bit of a mess. Here's the table, you saw the dishes. But, you know, as a stay-at-home mom, I, I have multiple jobs. And yes, one of them is, you know, keeping house. But another one of them is entertaining him keeping him fed, alive, you know, having him learn and grow. And so I think that we, we, both of us here, need to get out of the house. I think we've been cooped up for too long. And so that is taking priority today. Maybe when I get back from lunch, I will clean. Maybe I'll have the motivation after that because I just, I have no motivation right now. And that seems bad. It really does. And it may, I am trying to fight the feelings of guiltiness because I keep the house clean every single day and every single day it gets dirty and the cycle just continues. But today, I just need to take a day, you know? I, stay at home moms, we don't get a day off. It's not like, okay, Saturday and Sunday are my days off. Nope. <laughs> uh, I don't get breaks. I don't get time to myself. And so... If I have to leave the house slightly messy so that I can take a mental health moment, then I'm going to because I don't get days off. So, good mood. It's going to be a good day today. It is a great day to be alive. This is the day the Lord has made and I will be glad in it. I think there's more to that. I will rejoice and be glad in it. There you go. Are you awake? Look at those little toes. Well, I thought she was wonderful and I loved her sisters, Aunt Crystal and mm -hmm. Enjoy. <laughs> you will be reunited reunited with old friends. Making you work? Huh? No, I'm rewarding him. He gets Oreo. <laughs> Woo, that was a long day, but a good day. I did finally do the dishes because when the house is dirty, it stresses David out. And it's not that, you know, he's like, you know, you're not doing enough. It's not anything like that. It's just a physical clutter creates mental clutter for him. And so I left the dishes, I didn't do them, you know, I went out for lunch and whatever. And so I did them when I got home. <clears throat> but we had a super good day. <clears throat> I went out to lunch with my grandma and my sister, like I said. 
Um, me and my sister went to Walmart and got some stuff. We got new shoes and they're nude and I really, really like them. I'm gonna wear them tomorrow. Um, then we went to David's grandma's house just to hang out. Um, and I just ate some Chinese food. <clears throat> the baby is right there. He's literally just having a great time by himself <laughs> over there. He's playing with his feet. I don't know why I buy toys when he plays with his feet and they're free. So, tomorrow's that day. And you might have to get some shots, which is a bummer. I'm going to try and make him very, very full and very happy <clears throat> before we go. He's pretty good at if he gets hurt. It, it just, as long as we cuddle him for a second, then he's fine. But I am going to bring David's mom with me just in case. Because she came with me um, to get his circumcision. Which, yes, I circumcised my child. I know I'm a horrible mother. But <laughs> every mother does their own thing. I ain't gonna judge you for how your son's pee-pee looks as long as you don't judge me for how my son's pee-pee looks. Let's just all quit talking <laughs> about our son's pee-pees, you know? <clears throat> Anyways, she came with me during that. It was a very big comfort. So I'm gonna have her come with me this time. Just... Yeah, and I, I also get anxiety with things like that, so it'll be nice to have someone to come with me. So, <clears throat> anyways guys, I think I'm going to end the vlog here, otherwise it's going to be just way too long, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was slightly fascinating, and I guess I will see you in my next video.